Hi, everybody. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at module 47, which is about interpreting price elasticity of demand and a little bit about the total revenue test that we looked at in one of the lectures. So let's get started with the check your understandings. Um, there's, there's only two questions here. The first one says, for each case, choose the condition that characterizes demand, elastic, inelastic, or even elastic. So total revenue goes down when price goes up. So if you remember, price goes up, total revenue goes down, so we are elastic. B says, when price falls, additional revenue generated by blah, 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 is exactly offset by the revenue loss, blah, 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 blah. So the total revenue isn't changing. In other words, you're at the maximum point of total revenue. So we're at unit elastic. And C, total revenue goes down when output goes up. Now, output rising, right, would only occur in, in the circumstances in terms of thinking about like as you're moving to the right on the x-axis, okay? So thinking about like what that would be, right? So think about as price goes down, right? Then output's gonna be rising. So total revenue goes down, price goes down, we're in the inelastic range, okay? And again, that's one that, that we actually did in one of the practice problems as well. D, and this is the, the reverse of this one, and again, we did these in the practice problems. Producers in an in industry find they can increase their total revenues by working together to reduce output. So if they reduce output, then they're raising the price. And if raising the price increases their total revenue, then they're inelastic. Okay, number two says, for the following goods, is it elastic, inelastic, unilastic, and then explain, and what's the shape of the demand curve? So like vertical or horizontal. For this A, it says demand by a snake bike victim for an antidote. We would say that that's pretty inelastic um, because it's a necessity, because it's a necessity. And then we can just say, you know, demand is vertical or close to vertical. It's very steep. Uh, demand by students for blue pencils. I didn't even know they did that. All right, that's probably elastic because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe blue pencils are a necessity, but because they're not a necessity, you're not really needing a blue. I mean, I don't know. That's that's strange. Um, it's horizontal. I, at least at least I think so, unless a student is going to email me and say, they're very much a necessity because blah, 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 I don't know, whatever. Uh, tackle the test multiple choice questions. Let's take a look. A perfectly elastic demand curve is a horizontal line, so where is that? Uh, not upward sloping, not vertical, not a straight line. Horizontal, D, all right. So multiple choice, and we'll just say number one is D. Number two, which of the following would cause the demand for a good to be inelastic? So it's going to be a small, small part of their income. Um, very little substitutes. So A is not right. B, expenditures on a good represent a large share of their income. No, because that would make it more elastic. So B is not correct. C, there's ample time to adjust. Now, the more time there is, the more elastic it is. D, the good is a necessity. That's, that's it right, right there, right? Because it's inelastic. Um, e, the price of a good is in the upper left. What the heck? I don't know. I don't even know what E means. I think E is like a red herring. All right, D is the correct answer. Number three. Uh, which of the following is true if PED is zero? Slope of the demand curve is zero. No, so PED being zero means that their quantity change isn't occurring, right? Zero percent change in quantity divided by any change in the price. So the PED being zero means it's perfectly inelastic. So the slope of the demand curve being zero would be a horizontal line, and that's, that's an elastic curve. So A is not correct. B, the slope of the demand curve is one. Uh, no, because that, then that's, upward, that's weird. Um, demand curve is vertical, that's the correct answer because it's perfectly inelastic and the demand curve is horizontal, D and A are the same answer. And E, the price of a good is high, that's just kind of weird as well. So C is the correct answer. Number four, which of the following is correct for price going up? When demand is blank, total revenue will blank. So this one is gonna require us to like pair some things, but I'm gonna do the like total revenue test with my arms. So demand goes up, if total revenue goes down, it should be elastic, so we can rule out A. If total revenue goes down, demand going is, is elastic. So B is the correct answer, and I'm gonna write that down before I forget. Um, but let's see why the others are not. Unit elastic, well, if it's unit elastic, then total revenue is maximized, it's not gonna change. So C and D are incorrect. Elastic would be that, no, if, if the price goes up and the total revenue goes up, then it's inelastic, because your body's making an I. Okay. Number five, total revenue is, oh, well, that's an easy one. Total revenue is maximized when demand is unilastic. I, I literally just said that. Uh, so the correct answer is C. Okay, let's tackle 
Three response number two, draw a correctly labeled graph illustrating a demand curve that is a straight line and is neither perfectly elastic nor perfectly inelastic. Okay, sure. Quantity, price, ta-da, done. Uh, on your graph, indicate the half of the demand curve along which demand is elastic. So I just can remember it that E, it comes before I, and that in the middle is the unit elastic point. Um, so we could just be like, da, 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 da. this is the elastic range, and the other half is the inelastic range. Um, in the elastic range, how will an increase in price affect total revenue? So if the price goes up, total revenue will go down. So um, I don't know where we, where we write that. D, um, if price goes up, total revenue decreases because it's elastic. Like the, this is kind of a, I, I think it's strange for them to ask you to explain because it is sufficient to actually just say because it's elastic. Like that's kind of the explanation. So I, don't, I don't know what else they want you to say there. Probably something about why, like why this process happens. But if you, if you understand enough to say that, then you're good. All right, hopefully this helped you. See you next time.